Hello beautiful people, welcome to Christiana Flourishing. This is your girl Christiana, welcome to Read with Christiana. I'm excited. Coming to your present, my helper, you are my helper, oh my helper. Welcome to read with me. Let's go. Let's continue. I'm so I'm so excited. First, let me say thank you to you and you who have been giving me compliments, who have been teaching me, who have been saying I should increase the volume of my voice. I'm doing my best, and I hope he's getting better. I'm, I'm shouting beyond my head now. It's not that fun, but I have to do it because of you all. I'm going to try to increase the volume of my voice. I'm so sorry. I'm using my phone. To record this video so i don't have the microphone or something yeah, let's you manage me just stick with what you see me now try to put your earphone and enjoy the world with me i wanted to start for sunday the 24th of january 2020 say your proclamation make it real yeah, having the same spirit of faith according as it is written i believe and therefore have i spoken we also believe therefore speak in second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 13 for your faith to produce results not only it is your consciousness you must speak it forth the power to have in affirmation we believe and therefore we speak if you don't say it it will not happen so it's good to say it out the word of God is truth. It is already established in Psalm 119, verse 89. Says, Forever, O Lord, the word is settled in heaven. But it becomes settled in your life by your affirmation. Hallelujah. The more the way it works is this. You look and you look the word. You keep the word in your consciousness through your meditation. Then you con confess and or proclaim establish it in mark chapter 11 verse 23 jesus says whosoever shall say unto this mountain be that removed and cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever is said when the word is in your heart and speak it forth become a creative force what, what everything true it can and we create anything whatever you desire to do the power to make it free is in your mouth Prata. jesus said a good man out of the good treasure of his heart bring forth good things luke 6 verse 45 through meditation you create good things in your heart then just as jesus did in the book of genesis after incubate in the earth ex mass you release word what are things that are creative energy use your faithful word to frame your word and proclaim your spirit for success victory and increasing so monday the 25th of january 2020 fullness of the spirit in john chapter 7 verse 38 says he that believe in me has the scripture has said heart of his belly shall flow rivers of living water Why would any Christian read this and still be asking for more power or double portion anointing? It is it is a constructant. You have the spirit living in you in his fullness. The anointing is the uh, effect of the power and present of the Holy Spirit. Why has for the effect when you have the consultative personality in you? The Holy Spirit is the power true strength and wisdom of god he is a spirit of grace and he lives in you as a person he took up his abandonment in you with the totality of his being a fullness of the grace and power should be as freely expressed in and through you as a child of god the holy spirit is in you make you more than a man there is divine energy working in you it doesn't burn hard neither does it require me no refuse therefore refuse therefore to be limited by your physical ability your potential or limit limitless 
the Holy Spirit work in you mightily to activate results that are beyond human ability and comprehension. In Colossians 1 verse 29, affirm this to your life always. In Philippians 2 verse 13 says, For it is God who work in you both to will and to do of his good will. Hallelujah. The God that work in you is the Holy Spirit. It caused you to be willy and then prepare you to the, to, to the Father way. You can stay up his power to flow in and through you more as speaking in tongues and meditating on the word. Hallelujah. Let's say the confession. I am full of power, grace, and glory because the Holy Spirit lives in me. It is fullness. It is my ability and my strength of my life. I am perfect in him. Exceedingly is righteousness, peace, and joy. And to Tuesday, the 26th of January, 2020. We are reading the Rhapsody of Reality is our daily devotional. It says, no covenant of healing for a new creation. First Peter verse 2, chapter 2, verse 24 says, For he for who say who his own self bear our sin in his body on the tree, that we being dead to sin shall live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye we are healed. Many of the scripture of the healing that have been quoted by many well many Christians are, are the New Testament, the Old Testament, God made provision for the children of Israelites. By those provision and message do, does not apply to the church. Recall that the whole testament was abolished because it made nothing perfect. You might ask, how about the covenant of healing? Hallelujah. He said, don't God says in Exodus 23 verse 25, I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. He also said in Isaiah 52 verse 5, But ye was wounded for our transgression, and he was born for our iniquity, and the chastisement of the peace were upon him, and by his stripe we were here. Now, no of these two references is for the Christian. God didn't make a covenant of healing with the new creation. The new creation was a was for hell, for the Israelite. Now Jesus says in the cross, it is finished. Jesus said it in John chapter 19, verse 30. That was the hand of the the hand of all that understood who the Christian really is. The Christian is one with the God life, a life that does not require healing. It doesn't it doesn't get sick. Why are many sick then? People will understand ignorance. I'm telling you. God says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. It's Isaiah chapter 4, verse 6. The Bible said, but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal body. Hallelujah. From by the spirit that dwelleth in you. Romans chapter 8, verse 11. The Holy Spirit who realized, who raised Jesus from the dead, lives in you and has vitalized your matter body. That means your body isn't dead, dumb, or sick, proof anymore. Hallelujah to Jesus. God, people must know, live, and spread the truth. When you become a Christian, you have a creative you have received the Holy Spirit and you shall never be sick again in your life. What you need is the consciousness of the divine life in you and the fact that the Holy Spirit proclaim in you and to well off any man, a normal and keep you in divine head. You need to know that you are a child of God, that you are not supposed to be sick, that sickness has no power in your body. Welcome. Thank you. We are reading the rapture of reality if you are joining us for the very first time. Wednesday, the 27th of January, 2021. I'm excited. He said, peace is from God. Hallelujah. In John chapter 16, verse 33, say, these things have I spoken unto you that in me ye may have peace in the world, ye may have tribulation, but be of good cheer, you have overcome the world. Paul the apostle declared that that is in the book of John, chapter 16, verse 33. He said, John by the approach declared, But if ye our gospel be hidden, it is hidden to them that are lost. 
See, please, guys, listen to this. In whom the God of this world has blinded the mind of them which receive it not. So, in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 4 verse 3 to 4 says, The God of this world is Satan. Oh, and he is the one responsible for the mess and chaos of the world. The word of God is right now. The scripture has system of the world that is driving us selfishly wickedness grief on the earth is designed by satan the implantation of this system of the world is from satan but god is a god who have bring peace and is a righteous god it is important for people who have never received the life and nature of god to deliver true peace not even your family or friend can give you lasting peace at all nothing in john chapter 14 verse 27 say jesus said peace i leave with you my peace i give unto you not as the word give it unto you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid oh bless be god the peace of god is walking from in in jesus christ is now walking inside of you the bible says in the book of first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 3 says when ye shall say peace and safety then suddenly destruction come upon them as travel upon a woman from child and they shall not escape you see that this is the demon the malam that the world is in today in our temple jesus said the word ye shall have tribulation in this world in this world he said but be a good share you have overcome the world you have overcome this world that you are living he overcome the world for you so you don't need to be afraid the peace that you need is in christ jesus he gives you the power to for over crisis over and the advanced streets over circumstances over whatever you are going through his grace is granting your heart and blinded causing you to be at rest in every area of your life let's set the confession together no matter what happened irrespective of the tumor or oh, him um i am walking in god i have the place of christ jesus in my heart therefore i am full and confident because the champion of peace is in me is in the lord i have peace without 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 limit in jesus mighty name my friends the 28th of january 2021 is in luke chapter 5 verse 17 and it came to pass on the second day as he was teaching that they were Prophets, Pharisees, and daughters of the Lord sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and, Jer and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Some time ago, I was in a program. This is a book, Rhapsody of Reality, Daily Devotional by Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilome. That's what we are reading. He said, We serve from ministries and different countries. During the questions and answer segment, many of them ask questions bordering on various subjects, and I share with them answers from the scripture. But why it's at it? I noticed by the spirit that all these things that we're asking the question, all the people that we're asking the question, we are looking through the scriptures of the to, for the answer. The spirit of God were ministering to us in a very special way. Several of them had came from earth condition uh chest problem and some others are different kind of problem but they came to that meeting but god is healing them through the world they were healing miracle everywhere and through hearts and very diff did it particular part pray for the sick they this is what happened in the present you require your question and answer problem are so bond as lifted his glory is in your life to enrich and activate hallelujah when you hear the word of god you are under the influence of the ministry of the word of god the god of god's spirit you notice something happening when you are in the presence of god you notice something happen in your life in your family in your in your spirit you notice something immediately when you're hearing god's word this is how many people are blessed and the same time in the presence of god in the presence there is guidance there is direction there is light no wonder the psalmist says in the book of psalm chapter 16 verse 11 says thou shall show me show the path of life in the presence of fullness of joy and the right hand they are pleasant forever in the presence of god there is joy and peace and everything that you needed in life this year make fellowship with god in priority study the word virtually and pray in terms favorably every day it gives us a life of fulfillment a life of singing praise and thanksgiving maintain 
and live in this glory every day and express a supernatural of joy, peace, and prosperity that is beyond this world. Glory to God forever. I am a fellowship. I receive God's word that put me over in life and my faith is both true, causing me to ride upon his high place of the of the head, walking in abundant wisdom and spirit, and keep me pe perpetual over all evils and terror on this world. In Jesus' mighty name, I come to Friday the 29th. Glory, Jesus, you are my best friend. I like to work out with you. So let's go ahead. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's a love your personality hallelujah it says in the book of matthew chapter 10 verse 30 it says that the very air of your hair is a whole numbered when we say god loves you what does that mean to you what is love love is the endurance value of a person that gives you a sense of his or a whole important to you as a subject of the favor therefore that god loves you mean that you are special and valuable to god so not let anybody tell you say you are not valuable you are very able to god you are so valuable to him that he take a record of every hair in your head do you imagine that jesus says every hair and your hair are number notice he didn't say they are can't but they have number that means that they are the very sound of your head from your air it has a cold number from god no of them fall off without even recording it this is this is the care of god for each and every one of us you have to understand this love for you all that you're crying and feeling sorry for yourself because of what is going wrong and what you have done, don't don't feel because Jesus loves you. In First Corinthians chapter twelve, verse twenty seven, saying, "Now ye are the body of Christ, and numbered in particular." So you don't need to be worried. Don't don't feel so sorry for yourself. No, it's not. It's, it doesn't make any sense. If you go further in the book of Hebrew chapter five, verse twenty nine, says, "For no man." ever yet held of his own flesh but nourish and cherish it even as the lord the church this is wonderful with all the fear and <laughs> discouragement in the whole world the lord is bringing you this message as the dedicate of this love for you you see irrespective of everything he loves you so don't be worried don't give yourself stress he is nourishing you through the his word so that's why you need to get the word to be assured to get this assurance that you know that somebody god loves you he nourish you and he cares so much for you the bible says in the book of first john chapter 3 verse 1 behold what manner of love hallelujah the father have bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of god behold the manner of love so begin to know that god loves you and don't be afraid he called the word of god was true thank you so much for watching this video i really, really appreciate you Keep listening and keep being blessed. I will see you in my next video. Thank you guys and have an amazing, amazing one. Bye.